Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be giving some tips that may help improve your line art. So let's get started. So as I'm recording this, I'm in the second week of Inktober. Inktober is a drawing challenge. You try to draw a picture with ink every day in October. Inktober is one of the things that really helped me improve my line art abilities because it forced me to do line art. <laughs> so if you want to improve at inking and line art, one of the best things you can do is practice. It can help to practice on pictures that you don't really care about or make copies of the sketch and practice on those. When I got my first Micron pens, I was really excited about them, so I drew a picture that I really liked and started drawing the line art. Uh, let's just say that picture didn't turn out too well. <laughs> I, for some reason, would only practice inking on pictures that I liked. This made things worse because I would be even more nervous about ruining the picture or making mistakes. It can relieve a lot of the nerves and pressure if you practice on something that you don't care about or if you print out copies of a light sketch and practice on those. If you make a mistake, it's no big deal since you can practice on the other copies. Another thing that can be really helpful is to get a light pad. This will make it so you can keep your sketch and do the line art on a different piece of paper. You don't have to worry about messing up your sketch. You can get pretty nice light pads for about $20, or if you want, you can place your sketch on a window. However, I find inking like this uncomfortable and awkward. Warm up. When I go to start inking a sketch I just worked for a while on, I feel a little nervous. To help work out the nerves, I take a scrap piece of paper and draw some lines and doodles on them. This helps me warm up and get used to the feeling of the pen before working on my sketch. Also, when I start working on my sketch, I tend to start by working on less important parts of the picture. Once I start to feel more comfortable and less nervous, I'll move to more important parts like the face. Clean sketch. I find it's easier to make clean line work if I have a clean sketch. If my sketch is really rough, I have a harder time knowing where I want to place my lines and where I want them to go. However, if my sketch is clean, I can easily tell what I want my line art to do. Grip. I find it's easier to be more precise if I hold my pen towards the tip. If I want more random wiggly lines, I'll hold it towards the back. Get up close and personal. <laughs> I don't know if this is recommended by everyone, but while inking, I'll have my face super close to the paper. I actually have a hard time inking pictures while filming because my camera gets in the way, so I can't get as close as I usually do. I like to get close because it helps me be more accurate because I can see exactly where I'm placing the pen. Turn the page. While inking, I'm constantly turning the page. I turn the page because I'm trying to position the sketch in a way that's easy for me to draw. Artists can differ on what drawing position they find comfortable, so you may want to experiment and see what works best for you. Slow versus fast. I ink slowly when I want my lines to be very precise and accurate to the sketch. If I want my line to taper at the end, I'll do a quick flicking motion. I often use this for details inside of the hair and for wrinkles in clothing. These often don't have to be as accurate, so it's okay if they're a little off. Many people ink differently. Some people prefer to ink with mostly fast-moving lines. This can make things seem livelier, but it can also be hard to make the lines super accurate. However, some people are masters and can be accurate while drawing super fast lines. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I prefer to take my time and move quickly when necessary. Different pen sizes. Pens come in many different sizes. I'll tend to use different pen sizes for different things. For inking in general, I'll use a pen with a medium tip. For smaller details or the face, I'll use a smaller pen. If I plan to fill an area in with ink, I'll use a thicker nib because this gives me more room for error when filling in the line art. And since it's filled, you can't really tell I used a larger pen nib. You can also make pictures feel more dynamic and give them more depth by inking things with different line weights. Like things in the foreground can have a thicker line, and as you move back into the background, the lines get thinner and thinner. Line variation and shading. If I'm planning a fully color picture, I don't add much for line variation. I tend to just draw the line art as one thin weight because I don't want to draw a lot of attention to the line art. However, if I don't plan to color the picture, I try to add more line variation. Line variation can make the line art have more depth and can make it more interesting. I tend to make the line art thicker in areas where there would be shadow, places like under the chin or inside clothing folds. I also tend to darken where two lines meet. It's kind of hard to explain, so it may be more helpful to look at the examples. Sometimes it's better to just leave the mistake. <laughs> Inking is pretty unforgivable, and sometimes you just have to learn to incorporate or cover up mistakes. 
However, sometimes it's better to just leave them if they aren't very noticeable. When I was first getting into inking, I wanted everything to be perfect. So even if I made a small mistake that wasn't very noticeable, I would try to fix it. I would usually just end up making the mistake worse. <laughs> inking is one of those things I really only improve at with time and practice. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, practice is one of the best things you can do to improve your line art. Over time you'll get more confident and your lines will get less shaky. Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons including Rachel, Andrew, Bonnie, Cash Money Matt, Julie, Robert, Tamalam, Pisatera, Anne, Magic Gamer Dad, Eduardo, AJ, Foran, Narichan, Daniel, Aaron, and Patrick. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Well, those are all the tips I have for now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!